crazy snowstorm. It's 1 o'clock and we're still here. I'm Libby Warren here with Morgan Heaven. Attention juniors and senior. Prom is right around the corner and DECA is hosting the prom fashion show on January 30th. The fashion show is during third period and during second lunch and fourth period. It's only $1 to attend. Students, don't forget you can nominate a teacher or staff member for the Eagles Choice Award for Awesomeness. First, fill out the nomination form on this high school's webpage. Then send the email send an email to Ms. Tilford at jennifer.tilford at graves.kyschools.us with nominations for form attached to it. January 28th is the deadline for this month. Students, parents, and faculty me members may all submit nominations. There will be no school Monday, January 19th. Any girl trying out for softball this February needs to attend conditioning on Mondays and Wednesdays. Conditioning lasts from 3.30 to 5.15 each day. Four Rivers Behavioral Health is sponsoring a poster contest regarding misleading alcohol and tobacco advertisements. First prize is 500, second place is 250, and third place is 150. See Ms. Horn or Ms. Colley for information and the submission form. Submission deadline is April 3rd. The Graves County Public Library will be undergoing renovations for the next six months, and the library will be moving to a temporary location in the old goodies building next to Tractor Supply in Mayfield. Unfortunately, the library will be closed on January 19th until February 2nd. Therefore, th therefore the employment Q&A and the family movie night are both canceled. During the break, stay tuned for a segment on subtweeting that will leave you checking your notifications on Twitter. And a message about tomorrow night's spirit theme. How do you feel about subtweeting? I think that you can subtweet, but I think you should be able to say it to their faces. How do you feel about subtweeting? One second, I'm subtweeting. Okay. How do you feel about subtweeting? Yeah. I think you should just ask the person to be honest with you. But didn't you just say you were subtweeting? Oh, thanks, Robbie. Carrie, how do you feel about subtweeting? I think that it's fine, um, but if they ask you if it was about them, then you should say yeah. How do you feel about subtweeting? Um, I think that it's like really uncool, and that if you want to say something to someone, then you should say it to their face. How do you feel about subtweeting? Um, I think subtweeting is stupid because I think if you really have something to say to someone, then you just need to tag them in it and stop cowering behind your subtweet. How do you feel about subtweeting? I'm going to be real for a minute. If you tweet it, you should own up to it. If somebody asks you about it, you better tell them you did it and you were talking about them. That's all I got to say. How do you feel about subtweeting? Um, well, it's your Twitter account, and that's fine if you want to tweet whatever you want, unless you're being mean, and then you shouldn't because it's not cool to be mean. How do you feel about subtweeting? I think it is shady. That is some Jerry Springer stuff. And you should just at sign someone, tweet them directly. How do you feel about subtweeting? I think normally it's pretty stupid because people do it excessively and if you've got a thing to say, just say it once and quit getting on people's case about it. What do you think about subtweeting? I think it's when people are trying to be hard, but if you're really going to be hard, then you should tag them. How do you feel about subtweeting? Subtweeting? I guess it's alright. I like to look at it, but if it's about me, I don't like it. What do you think about subtweeting? So, subtweeting. So... Everyone does it, like literally every single teenager that has Twitter. Um, it's just throwing shade over the internet, I guess. How do you feel about subtweeting? It's a lot of drama. A lot of cheerleaders do it too, but not as many other people do it. What do you think about subtweeting? Uh, I think subtweeting is bad, even though everyone does it, including me. Do you think you subtweet because you're a cheerleader like Jacob Hansen said? He said that. No, I don't subtweet because I'm a cheerleader. I subtweet because people get on my nerves. Ooh. Hey, GC. Logan here today for your weather. Today we have a high of 39, a low of 27, with some light snow. Tomorrow we have a high of 48, and a low of 31. It'll be uh, sunny again. And uh, Saturday, it'll be a high of 53, and a low of 35. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this 
It's a great day to be an eagle. 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 Attention all students, there is a revised club meeting schedule for this week and next week in order to vote for basketball homecoming queen candidates. Club group one will meet Thursday, January 22nd, and group two and three will meet on the normally scheduled day. The Young Democrats will have their meeting Friday, January 16th in room D42 during SSR. GC Baseball is having their annual chili supper tomorrow, January 16th at 5 p.m. in the cafeteria. They will serve chili, hot dogs, sandwiches, and drinks. The tickets are $5 and can be purchased from any baseball player, coach forward, or at the door. Seniors, please send individual senior or personality photos to Morgan Hubany at her school email at morgan.hubany at stu.graves.kyschools.us for a project that will be presented at graduation. Any student who is currently enrolled in 10th grade and has, is at least 15 years old by March is eligible to apply for a summer camp designed for a student who is interested in a health career profession. Students will participate in a variety of clinical settings. If interested, see Ms. Rogers in the guidance office for more information. Is that time to prepare for the annual Rotary Speech Contest? The top students at the finals will be awarded $2,200. Local contest winners will be awarded $300, with the second place winner receiving $200, and the third place will receive $100. This year's topic is Light Up Rotary, and any interested student should go see Ms. Rogers in the guidance office for more information. FBLA study sessions will be held every Monday and Tuesday after school until 4 o'clock in E36 until the Region 1 conference on Monday, March 2nd. All competitors should attend as many study sessions as possible, and if you plan to attend, please let Ms. Gaddis know so she can have materials ready for your event. Well, that's all we have for today, guys. For GCTV, I'm Morgan Hubney. And I'm Libby Warren. Stay classy, GC. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God.